thinking about buying a home or whether you are looking for a primary residence or second home, let's talk about the pros and cons. Hi, I'm Beatrice Ponce from Coal Banker at YKBiscayne.com. Let's review some of the pros and cons when you're thinking of buying a home. Let's start with the pros. And number one, your wealth can increase as you build equity in your home, especially in today's times as inflation is eating our purchasing power and interest rates are going to continue rising. Investing in real estate is investing in a tangible asset. It should be your most important way to hedge and keep your money in a safer place. Number two, you gain tax advantages. Mortgage interest and property taxes are tax deductible as per IRS code. You can speak with your accountant for more specific information. Have him show you all the numbers and advantages. This can be a significant savings when owning a home. Number four, if you become a homeowner, you can stabilize your payment. Monthly payments are relatively steady if your loan has a fixed interest rate, while your landlord can easily increase your rent. Even if rates go up, it's still a business when you are hedging against inflation. Number five, you'll have a secure place for your family to live and grow. You can also decorate and expand your home in a way that you like to create your dream home. Number six, gain a sense of community. Homeowners often are more involved in the well-being of their communities. For instance, here in Key Biscayne, there are plenty of activities that welcome you and immediately make you feel part of the Kirad family. Now, I have to be honest here. I could go on and on and on about the benefits, but let's think about the cons when you purchase a home. Number one you need to think about maintenance costs. It takes work and money to keep a home in good conditions. It's sort of like owning a car. If you don't change the oil, the car can blow up. Trust me. Number two, it can tie up your cash. Selling a house may not be possible during the first few years of ownership. Moving is more difficult and uh, sort of complicated and you may not have as much flexibility in choosing a new job. Number three, your home can fluctuate in value. Miami and the Key Biscayne markets are cyclical and they experience stronger price gaps when the markets change. When you purchase, you must understand the market and be prepared to hold on when the cycle goes against the value you purchased your house at. Real estate is affected by demand and supply, so the price fluctuation is part of owning a property. Nevertheless, the data that I supply can help you understand when is the best time for you to sell or to hold on. Number four, loan payments obligate your finances. When you finance a home, you are obligated to make that monthly payment, no matter what. I always suggest a potential buyer to purchase within a framework that will not compromise their quality of life. So it's always a good idea. You have a bit of a nest egg as a backup for a rainy day. So there you go. Now, let's be real. Buying a home is always a scary decision. This is why I'm here. Call me at ykbiscane.com and let me guide you. I'll take out all your worries and pressures and keep you informed with real micro and micro data so that you can make a well-informed decision. Do not forget, much of our successes get lost for the lack of a little more. Again, this is Beatrice Ponce from Coa Bank at whitekibiscane.com. And thank you for listening.